In this video, we are going to look at uh, microbiology, primary culture media. Um, we're going to be looking at both solid and liquid media. We're going to be talking about these media in terms of uh, whether they are supportive, enriched, selective, or differential. So the first plate that we will look at here is a 5% sheep blood auger plate, which is just a pretty much uh, a standard uh, plate uh, that is supportive supportive and uh, differential. Our next plate is a bi-plate. Uh, it's half sheep blood auger, just the same as we looked at, and the other half is chocolate auger. Now chocolate auger is an enriched media, meaning that certain organisms, specifically members of Haemophilus, Haemophilus influenza, need it to, in order to grow. Uh, the next plate is another biplate. It's half CNA and half McConkie's. So the purpose of CNA is uh, it contains the antibiotics colistin and nalodixic acid, and its purpose is to suppress gram-negative growth and support the growth of gram-positive organisms. Uh, the on the right we have McConkie's. Uh, in opposition to the CNA, it suppresses gram-positive growth and it uh, supports the growth of gram-negative organisms. Now when I say gram-negative I don't mean fastidious gram-negatives like Haemophilus or Neisseria. Uh, this uh, auger is rather for looking at uh, members of uh, Enterobacteriaceae. Uh, the CNA would be considered a differential and selective um, auger. Uh, differential because you can read hemolysis on it. Uh, the McConkie's is also selective and differential. Uh, it's differential because the McConkie's contains lactose and uh, organisms that are lactose positive and lactose negative can be differentiated on that plate. This plate is McConkie auger with sorbitol, so this is used for the uh, detection of E. coli 0157H7. This is a group A beta strep auger. This is used for throat cultures. Now this will uh, suppress other gram positives besides streps. For example, it will suppress staphylo uh, strep staphylococci, sorry. And uh, its specific purpose is to uh, find uh, group A beta strep. Uh, this is a this is chrome auger, and this is for MRSA methicillin resistant Staph aureus. So its purpose is to detect MRSA. Uh, it's going to suppress the growth of gram-negative organisms. Other staphylococci are going to grow on it, but uh, they're just going to be uh, basically white, and uh, our MRISA will have kind of this mauve color on it. Okay, this is a stool culture plate. This is hectone enteric auger. Uh, the purpose of it is to help detect Salmonella and Shigella, uh, this is a selective and differential auger, meaning that it's going to suppress the growth of gram-positive organisms, and it's differential because it's, it, uh, it can be used you know, for the specific detection of colonies of Salmonella and Shigella. Okay, this is a Martin Lewis uh, plate. This is used for uh, culturing uh, suspected uh, gonococci, Neisseria gonorrhea. So this is also a selective uh, media, meaning that it's going to inhibit uh, gram-positive organisms. And it's also going to be enriched, meaning that it's going to help uh, Neisseria gonorrhea grow. Okay, our last plate is, uh, this is a brucella plate, and this is in the facility that I'm in. This is what they use primarily for when, they, when anaerobic organisms are suspected. Okay, let's go on to um, liquid media. Okay, this is a broth, thio broth. 
And this is a general all, you know, just all purpose broth that is set up with certain culture types when organisms we think may grow better in a broth than on a plate. This is gram negative broth. This is a broth that is set up with stool cultures to uh, enhance the growth of salmonella and shigella. And our final broth here is a campithio broth. And the purpose of this is to uh, enhance the growth of Campylobacter. Uh, we do actually have one more broth here. And this is, I do not believe that this is used in all facilities, but in the facility that I am, this is a strep group B carrot broth, and its uh, purpose is for the detection of uh, Streptococcus agalactiae, otherwise known as group B strep.